Hello. Hello. This is oh. Let's Play Bioshock 2. I'm Andy. I'm Aaron. I'm Justin. I'm Jimmy. Hi, Hi Jimmy. Jimmy. Hi. So, what are you this time? I'm successful. Move on. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so we got a big level this time, so we're going to cut the bullshit and go straight to it. How this is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. I'm sure he'd love to be in a deep, dark place somewhere. Exactly, but how big? Um, this is the biggest level, I think, in the game. Or at least it feels like that. Oh, there you are. Love your shooting, by the way. It's very American. You've used this already. You did? A lot. I don't know. I don't remember you ever saying it's very American. Very American. Very Shoot American. enough bullets and hope you hit the target. I'm pretty sure this is the third time you've used it. Actually, that part's not the way. Yeah. Okay, so we are in Fontaine Futuristics, but not the Fontaine Futuristics from the first game. Well, different part of it, anyway. Yay, new plasmid. Damage research. Uh, pretty much your all uh, damage bonuses are increased, which is nice. But I don't have a tonic slot yet, so also, fuck that. Also, I recant. Oh, shush. October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. <laughs> I am <laughs> recording these diaries in advance as a last ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. And remember, my weak spot is between the legs. It looks like Hitler. Hmm. Gil Alexander. I Nikola As I recall, he was involved oh. in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. Yeah, so that guy who was just talking to us, who says he's now clinically insane is the guy who pretty much made me and if I remember right okay so as soon as you come underwater go right and in this metal thingy you will find god dang it metal you'll find a corpse an atom slug which gives you 10 atom which is nice and a first aid kit which I don't need lol also, I would like to recant my earlier saying of the shotgun revolver not moving. I recently discovered it does when it goes off screen. Which is bullshit. Fantastic. We all really, really cared about that. Yes, yes it was keeping us all up at night. I know. Ooh. Time to use heavy rivets. You're fired. Don't know. But. Yes, this man is most definitely fired. And you'll find out who actually did that pretty soon. Oh, him. I want that robot. When in doubt, lightning robot. Lightning robot? Shush. So we get to listen to a guy go slow. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm enough. 
Always with the Houdini splicers. Shooting me. Oh, yes. LOL, new. Oh, there we go. Nice combat roll, bitch. Uh, like, ooh, this moment's nice. <laughs> now who's shooting me? Where's me shotgun? You! Now there's one left. Who's behind me? And... You know what? Empty! Fuck. Alex the Great? Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander. Same man who left that message we're following. No He sounds shit. mad as a March hare now. Yeah, the guy in the robot called himself Alex the Great. I wonder who he is. I guess it takes a genius with a southern accent to figure it out, so. <laughs> Fucking. What do you expect <laughs> with the raging Cajun? Really? <laughs> STDs. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, we're supposed to get this. Yeah. Stuff's going on. <laughs> okay, so what you. It's pointing at the little button there. But before you actually go there, you may want to stock up on ammo and weapons and stuff because as soon as you press that button, you're going to be introduced to a new enemy class. You'll find out about those in a second. <laughs> potato men? Better than the potato men, which don't actually come until the next level again. We, are be we already were introduced to the potato men. It's not the potato men. It is not. It's a new one. So make sure you have your camera ready. <laughs> Shiny? And maybe something explosive. Is it shiny? The new thing? I demand a shiny enemy. Is it shiny? I don't know. Yay. It's my shadow. Aaron does enjoy his look like a jackass. Man. Yes, I do. That's called a shadow. You call that a big daddy? He looks like a really thin little guy. I'm confused. Why is there an aura around you? Right now I'm being scanned to make sure I'm sane enough to enter. <laughs> oh, there's the robot again. One of my old colleagues. Say hello to the new enemy class. The Alpha series. Do not want. They're me. Pretty much. Do not want. Now where'd he go? Possibly. Why can't you break Oh shit! Okay, sometimes they charge at you, and they do have this little uh, grapple attack thing where they grab you, then headbutt you. Why can't we break through those? It, it didn't. See? Oh. It was supposed to headbutt me. That didn't seem too hard. I just love cannons. Yeah, because they're... Unlike the regular Big Daddies, um... They're more light-footed, I guess. They're crazy. That, that's why they're dangerous, because they're crazy. Can they sneak? Hello no. again. I, I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, 
must therefore penetrate them and kill me. He Please believe, penetrate. if I could have done it myself. <sighs> ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the Vogel print locks ahead and enter the security office. And the password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. That shock well, unfortunately for me, I decided to be stupid and played this on a regular TV a couple days ago so I could actually figure out how long these recordings are going to be. Agnes Bad idea. Excuses. Don't make me break through the fourth wall. You don't have to break through the fourth wall. We're sitting right next to you. True. Thank you, Mr. Gil Alexander, for telling us that you armed all the defenses to kill us. Fucking bastard. I heard that. It's not his fault he went clinically insane. Don't make me strip you for parts, Did he just go through the fourth wall? No. I just told him to go fuck himself, basically, and he was like, I heard that. Hmm. He did say he was going to strip us. For parts. I'm sure he would love this. I warned you. Why won't you die? This guy seems a lot like Justin. Yeah. Can I kill him? No. Why won't you leave? Oh, he's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooner. See if you can find some say. way to sabotage his control of building security. Don't it's nice to say he broke our shit and we get to break his. Pretty much. Oh, now he's sending bad people after me. Like these guys. Ow. This place looks familiar. This isn't the biggest cock tease in the history of the level. Yes! Yes it is! And... What you! Stop! Shooting! Is she the biggest cock tease in the game? No. Worse. You'll find out. But uh, we'll get to that after we uh, clear the uh, floor a little bit. And... Wait, what the hell am I doing? Yes, you can use auto-hack darts to hack the... Uh, no, technically an appliance won the battle of wits with a home appliance. But... Ooh. I heard stabity stab. You should go buy the bees now. Screw the bees, they're useless. Oh. Hello, good sir. I just threw a proximity mine at him. Come on, come on. Punt. Stop it. Boom. Setting him on fire. And that is the power of solid slugs. Daddy suits. Or I zip lock. This is the power of money. <laughs> no, that's the power, power of love. How did we know that we were going to do that? Because we both knew that. Sorcery. 
Okay, so I just picked up an audio diary. Pretty much says what uh, Eleanor Lamb's life has been like. Hell. Pretty much. Okay, so now that I have the sister, I'm going to actually get the two gathers done right away so I don't have to worry about that bullshit. Because they're fairly close. And even though I said two gathers, there are actually uh, three little sisters, but you only get one right now. You have to wait for the other two. Lame. Yes, lame. Oh, and uh, there's also a very high probability that you'll be attacked by another Alpha series during this gather, so we'll watch out for that. Yep, there it is. Hey. Oh, that's the headbutt thing it does. Was a very and he's dead. And I just realized I only had three first aid kits. Oh, <laughs> shut up, little girl. You die. Yeah, it turns out, uh, fun fact about the uh, teleporting splicers, most times they don't actually teleport. They most of the time just become invisible. Except in cases where they do that, then they actually teleport. Invisible and intangible kind of thing. Yes, yes, get away from her, you bitch, all that stuff. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now time to spend that metric fuckwad of Adam that I have. On the bees. No, not the bees. Fuck the bees. Not literally, though, because having sex with bees is a very bad idea. That's how you get infections. And like bee stings in the urethra. Like herpes. But actually, I'm gonna gather here first because conveniently they put them right next to each other. Except a floor apart. Like herpes. When these girls become normal again, do they remember everything that yep. happened to them? Yep. So just, just think about that. You, yep. you lay her down to suck out brain juices from these guys. Oh no, not brain juices. <laughs> everything else juices. Well, you know what I'm saying. Well, they actually still enjoy it even after they get rescued. It's mental conditioning, my friend. Yeah, the arrow is pointing you to a signal relay, which lets him control the security box the way that he was doing earlier. I just killed three of them with one drill dash. I guess you could say it, they were screwed. But um. Okay. So now I have another metric fuckwad of Adam, and I'm about to get another metric fuckwad more because rescue. Sucker punch. You should know by now, dude. I don't harvest. So do they make all the little sisters look the same, or is that just how they came out? 
That's just really... That's lazy programming. That's lazy programming. Hell, in the first game, they all looked different. Kind of. A little bit. Sort of. Why aren't there any blonde children? Why aren't well, there any male technically, children? they're all blonde. They're just really, really dirty. Where are all the black ones? Racist in rapture. And where are the men? Children. They don't have any more. No, the reason why there aren't any blonde children is they sucked out the wrong juices in the test. I'm very disappointed in you, Delta. Destruction of a Fontaine asset is punishable by summary dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! Fired! I do believe I'm fired. You're fired. Seriously? He sent the robots on me. Maybe. I don't even remember anymore. I don't care. Okay, now there are three more. I think you're oh. onto something, kid. Some kind of pirate relay doohickey keeping security under his spell. Find the rest of those and vandalize them directly. That's a very scientific term, doohickey. The bees. Yeah. Okay, so health? Insect swarm. You? Insect swarm. No! Yes. It's not even bees, it's insects. Um, you can swarm them with grasshoppers. Electro bolt. Winter blast three. Three. Every bolt hits more than one foe. Charge up to blast them with a deadly storm. Or is this two? I couldn't read. That was two. Two is still good. Winter blast three. Nope. Oh. Fully upgraded a plasmid. I guess that was three. Um. Just think, though, if you get Insect Swarm, I'll have nothing left to bitch at you about getting. Bitch, please. You'll bitch about anything. Holy hell, that's a lot of tonics that I'm not going to get. So what are you going to do with the fuck ton of Adam? He's going to buy Insect Swarm. No. Cyclone Trap 3? No. Incinerate 3? Well, I can only get Incinerate 2 at the moment. Gonorrhea. And... Eve Slot, or Tonic thing. What happens if you get, like, the Fire Swarm and the Lightning Storm on both equipped at the same time? Magic happens. But damage research. It makes it so that all of my uh, things, like all the, uh, oh, brain, why are you not working? It makes it so that all the uh, research bonuses for damage uh, do increase. Wait, what, what, what? That was confetti. And. Oh, confetti. Yep. Okay, so, um, written on the wall over there is a little sign that says, Help me, 5254. You're going to want to remember that, because that's a door code. Oh. Those people want to murder me. Haha. Uh -huh. Hmm. I'm running low on ammo for most of these things. I understood the power to the people machines back in Bioshock 1. Because you could probably stick a gun in there and instantly upgrade your weapon. However, the one that I don't understand is the atom. If you upgrade your powers, do you just stick, like, your hand in there or something? No, it, it just, just, oh, changes it, it dispenses needles that you randomly stick in there. Or are you talking about the gene bank, which lets me switch between powers I already have? 
because I don't get that one either. Science. That's all you need to know. Time Science, witchcraft. I mean, you can't leeches. even take, like, Tylenol and some crazy drug oh. together, otherwise hey, watch you grow this. green hair. You're taking, like, 12 at a time, and there's no problem. For all you know, you get a new power that says, okay, make the sky fall. Anyway, so, see, door code 5254. It was written. Next time you try to incinerate somebody, you just say hello there. So next time you go through here, make sure to crouch. Dave, this is the 60s. They had lower understanding of medical science and therefore less medical issues. And expert hacker too. I'll make sure to get that later. Over here, bandages. A uh, audio diary that explains how Eleanor Lamb was bound to, um, well, Big Daddy here. And. Oh, unsuspecting dude. Whoa. Enjoy being pudding. Oh, and, uh... Electro Bolt! Do I get a cookie? Cupcakes, maybe? Yeah. And... Get the fuck out. A cat. Her? No. Okay, so right now I'm about to enter a uh, performing area, which, well, you'll find out about that next time, because it's about time to, for us to end the episode. Hey, uh, Jimmy, try this drink. Um, monster? Mm, ah. Sort of. All right. What matter? <sighs> you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to let you people know about it. We're ending the episode now before any shenanigans happen. So uh, next episode, we'll continue on with um, Fontaine Futuristics. Uh, get a sh you got to learn a little more backstory, get a little more cool swag, and sh yeah, that's about it. So this has been Aaron. And Andy. And Justin. What the hell did you put in here? Is, is that another arm? What the...